make a quick video for you about the, uh, the concept that my friend uses and then I've been doing it with her now and it's called the trifecta is what we call it at least so um, as you know I'm sure you've heard about the triune nature of things um, about things that happen in threes uh, the Holy Trinity in threes etc and so what she does is if she sees something that gets her attention she's like oh and she makes a note of it and notices it like let's say something happens and it seems very significant to her she'll make a note and then if it happens a second time with the it doesn't have to be the exact same event but something that matches up with that event and so then that she says is a coincidence when there's two of them and then when there's three of them then she calls that the trifecta and that's a sign so when she's um, so for signs she's looking for for validation with three events that happen and um, she said many of these and sometimes we have them together when we're communicating and you know something will happen to her or something happened to me or something will happen to us together when we're out or something like that so um, I'll just give you an example of one that happened in particular recently although we do not know how to what it means for some reason like for some reason there's meaning but we don't know exactly what it is and I don't know if it'll become clear or if it was just some sort of validation so what happened was is the initial thing happened when I was out to eat in the restaurant with someone else and I saw something that looked very familiar to me I was at a sushi restaurant and it was a Japanese wood paddle with a geisha on it so what it is is like this wood thing and actually my understanding is it, it can be used for game like there's some kind of game but then also it's used for decorative purposes so and the geisha was made out of fabric so it's like sitting on top of the wood but it's fabric so it has like a piece for her hair you know a piece for her face and then you know different fabric pieces put together now the reason why I noticed it and it was significant to me is because I actually have one of these um, it's unusual that I would have such a thing <laughs> like where would I get this um, you know I've never been to Japan or anything but I actually got it from my family and my family I got it through my mother and she had gotten it I don't know if it was given directly to her or was given to her mother or I don't know what but my great-uncle was in the army and he traveled around the world uh, this is many many years ago and so he the one I have he uh, he obtained that in Japan when he was in Japan and so I actually have it. it's a very you know it's something I've never seen before other than the one I've had and then I see it in the restaurant so I took a picture I'm like I've got to send this to my mother and so it was significant to me because it reminded me of my family and there were some other things in the restaurant that were interesting too to me but that's another story so I told my friend about it and she's like what, what her interpretation of it was is that it is a geisha and I'm like, oh yeah, it is a geisha. Like, I never really thought about it that way, you know, but obviously it is what it is. She's like, that means something to me. I'm like, okay, what? And she sent me a picture of someone who is very important to her in her life who had a tattoo of geisha on his arm. And I thought, well, that's weird. And, you know, she doesn't know why the tattoo is there, you know, like what, what the significance of the tattoo even is, but it was important to her because the person was important to her. And then we had... Um, she was unpacking, I don't know if it was that day or the next day, but she was unpacking a box and she found a tiny figurine of a geisha in a box of her possessions. And she remembers that she had bought it some time ago and she didn't really know why she bought it. So we had three geishas that we had, you know, kind of compared notes and um, had meaning to us. However, we don't know what it means in particular. I mean, obviously, the first one meant something to me in the sense that it reminded me of my family, and my immediate thought was my great uncle, and then I needed to tell my mom. But um, it was interesting because we feel like, okay, that's some kind of sign, but we don't know, we don't know what that one means yet. But we, there are all these other ones that happen as well. I mean, certainly when you have two people comparing notes, you're going to have more chances of coming up with three. But it also works on an individual basis that you might see a three. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. And you hear too about, you know, like people die in threes and stuff. So you hear that too. So um, it's just something interesting. So if you are like seeing something repeatedly or you're like looking for, you, you 
get something, you're like, ah, is that a new sign? Does that mean something? Like, I mean, I think everything means something, but you know, like you're trying to figure out, okay, what does that mean? Or just, is this significant or not? Um, it might be fun to kind of, you know, stay aware and see if you see these things happening um, multiple times because sometimes it happens in a way that is so unlikely to just happen by random chance that it could be something that is a message personally for you. Now, in my example, in the one way, it's not a very good example because my friend and I have no idea what the meaning is for us. Um, maybe it will become clearer in the future, uh, but there are other examples. That one is the one that just came to mind. So um, I'm just wondering if you are seeing more of these situations where you're seeing uh, repeated things come to you. Um, I'd be really curious to hear if, if you've been having an increase in these because my friend and I, we're seeing a dramatic increase in these events occurring at this time.